Welcome to another video of machine learning do it yourself. In this video we're going to talk about regression trees. What are regression trees and how they can be used for numeric predictions. So remember flow charts in our schooling days regression trees are nothing but flow charts or decision trees which are helpful to analyze or do classifications for example what is the quality of a particular product or what is the class of a product these are some classifications which are traditionally done using decision trees however in this video we're going to talk about how the decision trees can be used for uh, for uh, doing numeric predictions similar to linear regression so a tree or a decision tree consists of nodes and leaf nodes. Nodes are the, the points at which you make a decision and you go either ways. And leaf nodes are the one which are the final output. I'm going to talk more on this. Here is a sample regression tree output. So here, this is the route where you start your decision tree process. Here, this one is a node from where you decide based on some value of income. And at the end, these are leaf nodes. We're going to talk more on this in the next few videos. As I mentioned, regression trees or decision trees are generally used for classifications. Regression tree may also be used for numeric predictions and that is what the idea of this video is. To bring together the ability of decision trees to model and predict numeric data. So it's a, it's a good way to model and predict numeric data and I'm going to show you how to do it. They may make predictions using the average value or at a node level they create linear regression model. We are going to talk about in detail, but there are two values by which they make predictions using the average values of the examples which reach the leaf or by using linear model depending upon what kind of tree you are picked, you are picking up for your experiment. Obviously, they fit some data types, but a lot of cases it's been found that decision tree work better than linear regression however it's up to you as a data scientist to understand which model fits best your data so let's do hands-on i have opened our studio please download this file from the Google Drive link mentioned in the comment section of this video. Please note that we are going to read 40 records, first 40 records from this file. This is the same file which we have used in the linear regression model in the earlier video and this is a good comparison how and which model works the better. So I created a data frame income DF with first 40 records of income and spend. I'm going to use a library R part. If you don't have this library installed, use this command to install a library. already have this library so I'm not going to install it but if you use install.packages our part it's going to install our part library for you so our part library has been loaded this is the command for regression our part R partition and you can see the formula for this R part. Spend is the target variable. 
and build with a dot dot means use everything what's in the file except for spend the spend which is a target variable is dependent on all the variables on in that data frame and then data equals income underscore df which is this data frame please note that it's very very similar to what we have done in the linear regression model earlier but this dot is something which we haven't discussed earlier dot means to be able to get all the columns which is equivalent to having i and c here doesn't make any difference here so dot is using all the columns in the data set now we have model which is regression tree on spend it's going to predict spend using regression tree let's get more information on this model so it tells you some textual model here root and stuff in order to get more detailed information summary the command gives you detailed information but remember what's missing here is the tree visualization if i'm talking about a decision tree i would like to have it visualized and therefore we are going to use a library known as r plot r part dot plot this library r part dot plot it's going to help us to plot the decision tree to able to be able to see the decision tree in a visualized fashion so i have load, load, loaded r part r part dot plot and then i'm going to visualize this tree using r part dot plot the model which is here digits equal to 3 we're going to talk about it sometime later but digits equal to 3 is going to show you a three digit tree. i i'm going to i'm going to talk to you in detail once we plot it so you can see here it's plotted let's make digit 1 see the difference so see the decimal places are removed let's do it again there you go so digits equal to 3 is defining to a minute or even detail level after decimal and it's useful in cases of huge data set and by the way this regression decision tree model needs a lot of data to be fed in as compared to any other model but however having said that lead any data or any model which you create as part of your experiment you need to put in a lot of data to train the model for here let's click on zoom and this is the decision tree 1076 is the mean spend this is just the model it's not predicting yet anything the next video i'm going to show you how you can use the same commands and predict on this decision tree 1076 is the spend 100% if income is less than 100 yes it goes into this tree if income is less than 52.5 yes and 22.5% of the values are less than income 552.5 with a mean of 319 this is for all the data the mean is 1076 here 45% of this if income less than 100 are having 52 income more than 52.5 on this one if it is no that means if in income is not less than 100 the mean is 1620 we're going to see more in detail as and when we add more data the time next in the next video we're going to talk about how to predict using this model thank you for watching